Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord, dear friends. Uh, today we look into the uh, Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 49. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised. So stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Our Lord Jesus, before ascending into heaven, um, told the disciples to stay in Jerusalem until they are clothed with power on high. And um, so um, today uh, we begin the novena to the Holy Spirit as we wait and pray uh, to celebrate the Feast of Pentecost. These nine days uh, we are going to do the novena to the Holy Spirit. It's the oldest novena in the church uh, in honor of the third person of the Blessed Trinity. So join me uh, this uh, nine days uh, to do the novena to the Holy Spirit as we pray for a fresh anointing. We pray uh, that there will be revival in the church, that we pray that we increase uh, in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let's pray together. Uh, come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of the faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray, O God, who did taste the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us by the gift of the same Spirit. We may be always truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Queen conceive without sin, pray for us. Today, first day, uh, we would be praying uh, to the Holy Spirit to receive the Holy Spirit, to be filled with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Jesus uh, gives us the Holy Spirit when we pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. We are filled with the Holy Spirit. By the merits of Jesus, we receive the Holy Spirit. So let's pray for the gift for the Holy Spirit, for the person of the Holy Spirit today. Um, Join me uh, on behalf of all of you watching, joining. Uh, I'll pray as you just join and uh, um, you pray and we will together pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Prayer. Only one thing is important, eternal salvation. Only one thing therefore is to be feared, sin. Sin is the result of ignorance, weakness and indifference. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of light, of strength and of love. With his sevenfold gifts, he enlightens the mind, strengthens the will and inflames the heart with love of God. To ensure our salvation, we ought to invoke the Divine Spirit daily. For the Spirit helped our infirmity. We know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself asks for us. Almighty and eternal God, who has vouchsafed to regenerate us by water and the Holy Spirit, and has given us forgiveness of all sins, vouchsafe to send forth from heaven upon us your sevenfold Spirit, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and fortitude, the Spirit of knowledge and piety, and fill us with the Spirit of holy fear. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and day our Father death. Amen. We say glory be seven times. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without an Amen. Act of Consecration to the Holy Spirit. Please kneel wherever you are, if possible. 
On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body, to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness to grace, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light and listen to your voice and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me in my weakness, holding the pierced feet of Jesus and looking at his five wounds and trusting in his precious blood and adoring his open sight and stricken heart. I implore you, adorable spirit, helper of my infirmity, to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Spirit, Spirit of the Father and the Son, and to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. Prayer for the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven did promise to send the Holy Spirit to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom, that I may despise the perishable things of this world, and aspire only after the things that are eternal, the spirit of understanding, to enlighten my mind with the light of your divine truth, the spirit of counsel, that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven, the spirit of fortitude, that I may bear my cross with you, and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation, the spirit of knowledge, that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints, the spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable, and the spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displace Him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples, and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. Let's praise uh, together. Uh, for the Holy Spirit, for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, and afterwards we do the blessing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, fill us. Holy Spirit, anoint us. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bless the people who are joining. Bless the people who are watching. Lord, as we desire, as we wait and pray, bless us, Lord. Fill us, Lord. Holy Spirit, take over. Abba, Father, in Jesus' name, pour out your Spirit. Pour it out, Lord. Pour it out, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We glorify you. We give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.